students welcome to technofun.kbs in this session we are going to learn different image editing options in gim uh, like how to edit image in gim how to save image for web page how to crop image how to make circle shaped image and how to create text logo in gim so let us start with the first option how to edit image in gim so for that we need one image so uh, there are uh, two methods uh, to uh, there are two methods uh, through which you can uh, easily resize image in gim so first is uh, by using scale tool option from toolbox you just click there and then click anywhere on this uh, image uh, uh, when you click on this image uh, now you can see all uh, its edges are selected so uh, you can uh, give the size here width and height Okay, uh, here you can specify uh, as per the need or the second way is uh, you can you know, drag the edges like this way you can decrease the size or if you want you can increase the size so as per whatever you want you can do so uh, once uh, your image is set uh, then click on this scale button see this is your image so uh, there is one more method is there uh, by using scale option so click on image and there is a one option scale image now you can see in this dialog box so many options image size you can set the width and height you can set the resolution you can give the quality of your image and after selecting all these options, then click on OK button. So this way you can resize the image in GIMP software. OK. Now the next stage is how, how you can save GIMP image or web page. Okay. Open one image. I want this image to save as a web page so how you can do just click on file and click export i know uh, i give the name just write the name here in web image or you can give the extension jpg png and click on export Again, you uh, click on export. Now, see how your image will uh, look. Now, this is your web image. Okay. Now, the next stage uh, you can close uh, this image uh, you can see. Uh, Whenever you open any image, it will uh, in game software it will open multiple images and it will display the bottom. See if you want, you can uh, close this image. So the next one is uh, how to crop image in game. This is very important in game. Okay. So the first uh, method is by using crop tool. And for that, just uh, we need one image. We take the first one. So uh, the fir uh, first method is by using crop uh, crop tool option. Okay. Now this is the crop tool option. Click or uh, just click there and uh, select the area. Now you have to select the area. Like I will 
solve this particular area select it fine and uh, then press the enter key in the center or any corner like you can see first you need to select the area that you want to crop then click uh, if you want you can click in the center or any on any corner the first way and uh, for the second option is okay we'll uh, need one more image so we'll open that image again okay now the second method uh, is uh, now first you need to select the area by rectangle select tool option now see this is the rectangle select tool option this is the toolbox and uh, this is the rectangle select toolbox, uh, tool rectangle select tool just click and select the desired okay, you can I want to crop this particular area. Okay. Now, uh, there is one option. You need to select this one also. Add to current select current selection. Okay. Otherwise, uh, there are four options here. But you need uh, add to current selection. Now, what you can do? Then click on image option and uh, select crop to selection there is a one option crop to selection this is the second method so this way you can crop image in game software okay now uh, the next is how to make circle shaped image for this we need one more image so we will take the third one okay now how to make circle shaped image so first we need to select okay what we can do now first just click on layer then there is option transparency uh, click on this option then there is a one option add alpha channel so it will add the transparency information to the layer just click there now uh, select ellipse select tool there is a option ellipse select tool uh, from toolbox click there and uh, uh, now see there is there there are so many options you, uh, we need this fixed option i want uh, to uh, I want this particular option fixed or you can give the ratio or width height as per uh, whatever you want i want ratio i want my image in ratio one by one is to one uh, now uh, select the Image. This way you can see the image. So, uh, if you want, uh, you can uh, you know you can resize image by dragging like this. That's up to you. Now, what you can do? Just click on select. And there is an option invert invert the selection okay, click there fine uh, then i want to click this i want to delete all this uh, area then the selected one so edit click on edit and clear it will delete the uh, rest of the area or uh, now I want one more option is there. Click on image. There is an option 
uh, you can see it's a JLS crop. So uh, just select this option. So it will auto crop unused space from edges and middle. Now you can see when you click on this option, happen. Okay. So finally, now you have to save your image or export this image. One, you can save your image. I'm going to export it. I will give new name. I want to give a new image. Okay. Uh, you can give the JPG or PNG. So let us take PNG. Then click on export and again click on export. Now see this is the page. Okay, so this way you can uh, make circle shaped image. So the next is uh, how to create text logo in GIMP. So for this we need one new document. Okay. So here you can specify the uh, logo size. Like let's suppose I want it 250 and height of my logo 80. Then click OK. You can take the templates. You, you can take the templates. So many templates are given. Then click on OK. Fine. So uh, next, what we can do? Um, uh, click on a uh, layer. Click on this option layer. Then new layer. Okay. Uh, fill with transparency. We need to choose this option then OK. You can see if we click on this uh, layer option, we will see simultaneous background and one layer is created. Now next choose text tool option from toolbox. Okay. Click. Okay. Then Select like this. Okay. Now here uh, you have to write whatever logo you want to give. Let's suppose, and uh, if you want, you can change the style of your logo. And I want to give a uh, comic. So when you when you click, just write C O M. It will show different options like I want this one and you can increase or decrease the size you can set the size basically another option is also there bold italic align strike through so here you can give the color also I want to give a blue color so you can choose your now finally I'm going to write Oh. Now I to reduce the size. Okay. So this is the logo, and uh, what you can do, you can finally remove the background, or just click there, the layer options, and click on this background, and right click the heat layer. Save your logo again. You can use the export, okay? Export as, or you can like give uh, my new logo. So you can give PNG or JPG, whatever you want. You can give if I the extension of your image. So, 
see this is new logo fine so this way you can create a text logo in gimp so that's it students uh, thanks for watching